Hi everyone, my name is Robert Harrison. I'm one of the head trainers in the Bay Area for the NLP and Coaching Institute, also known as NLP of California. The website is nlpca.com. Please go there, just click on the practitioner certification link to find out the current dates, times, and to get a full curriculum about this course. So to give you a little idea of how the NLP and Coaching Institute works, we generally do the practitioner training in five separate weekends. These are three-day weekends, usually once a month. It's spread out to really encourage you to learn and practice using what you learn in each module uh, for the next month before you come back for the next module. It also, I think, helps the learning process tremendously when you can spread it out that way. Generally, we start about 1 p.m. on Fridays till about 6 p.m. for those traveling into town. And we always end at 5 p.m. sharp on Sunday for those who need to fly out of town. Saturdays and Sundays are usually generally about 10 to 5. There's also practice sessions before and after the trainings each day that you can attend. Each training we generally have three to five resource people along with the trainer and co-trainers um, to be there to support you in your learning. Currently, the uh, trainer lineup for the practitioner training will be myself, Robert Harrison, Tim Halbum, uh, and his wife, Chris Halbum, both of whom are trainers internationally <clears throat> and have been running the NLP Institute of California for you know over 20 years now. So the training is broken down essentially into five modules. The first module is all about personal and professional excellence. This is how to manage your state, how to get out of an unwanted emotional state of reaction, how to create rapport with others, how to see things from other people's points of view, and really to start to understand how we are responding to reality. What it is, how we create it in our minds, how we put it all together so that you have a better understanding of how we're really reacting to ourselves, to our thoughts, to our feelings, to our behaviors, to others, and to the world. <clears throat> now the second weekend is all about communication and relationship excellence. How we communicate and relate with others and how to get the most out of that. So many of the problems and challenges that we see in personal and professional life uh, in corporations and business culture have to do with this inability to get and maintain rapport with one another, to see things from another person's point of view, to understand where other people are really coming from, and to learn how to really discover what is going on in what we call the, the map of another person. So one of the things we learn in NLP is that we each are operating on our own kind of map, and it's a little bit unique and different. This is why two people can see the same event and have a totally different response. Now the third weekend is all about negotiation and mediation. How do we resolve conflicts in our personal lives, in our professional lives, uh, within inside ourselves? Personal conflicts, part of me wants to quit smoking, part of me wants to keep doing it. How do we resolve conflicts? How do we mediate? How do we start to work with conflicting parts within ourselves and within our family unit, within our uh, you know corporate culture, what have you? And so this is where we start to even delve into parts of the unconscious mind and we really learn terms like congruency. What is congruency? What does it really mean? And a real simple version of that is when we get what we call a full body yes, when like every part of you is like absolutely versus those other things that, you know, like maybe a promotion that you really want, but that promotion comes with a lot of extra hours and a lot of extra work and more travel. You're gonna be away from the family a little bit more. And so there's a little bit of an internal conflict around that. How do we handle those things? Now, the next weekend is all gonna be about success strategies and submodalities. So a modality is something like picture, something we picture in our mind, something we hear, that would be auditory, something we smell, uh, that would be olfactory, something we taste, that would be gustatory, something we can feel, that would be kinesthetic or, or tactile. And a submodality is a smaller classification of that. So a submodality could be it's bright or it's dim or it's loud or it's soft. And so we'll explore what submodalities are and how they affect how we feel and how we react to the world around us. Uh, not just our own internal world, what we're thinking and feeling, but what others are doing. And there's, there's a, so much more besides that. Strategies are what are the certain kind of master moves that we do to produce a specific result. And we can model success strategies, things other people do, 
that are very successful. NLP is very much known for the ability to teach you how to model excellence. So if you identify something someone else does that you think they do excellently and you would like to do it, it gives you a set of learning tools that you can use to kind of extract a model that you can use and reproduce and test, which is really nice. There's a lot more, of course. And then the final weekend is really understanding yourself and others, and one of the main focuses of that weekend is something called meta programs. What are the patterns of behavior that are running in our minds, in our emotional responses, in our lives that we're not aware of? Uh, an old friend of mine, uh, Tom Hubiar, wonderful soul who's now uh, passed away, used to say, fish don't know they're wet. And one thing that you know I added to that over the years was until you take them out of water. And a lot of times we don't really become aware that we're stuck in a pattern, particularly repetitive pattern of thinking and reacting and behaving until it stops working. And oftentimes that can be a real uncomfortable experience for us. And so learning things like meta programs helps you to really understand and recognize and see some of these unconscious patterns that are maybe outside of your awareness. Not just for you, but for other people. And the beauty in being able to see a pattern is when you can see a pattern operating, now you have the choice as to whether to continue to do it or not. And that has a profound impact. Now, the other thing that I would like to mention about the training that's probably not in the curriculum so much is the sense of community. One of the things that NLP, um, Coaching Institute and NLP of California is really known for it. What Tim and Chris Halbum are really known for over the last 20 some odd years that I've known them and 30 plus years they've been in this business is they're renowned for creating community. They're some of the most well respected trainers in the world, um, but they're really renowned for creating a, a deep sense of community. And I am still friends with people that I was in my practitioner training over 20 years ago at NLP of California. So they, we really encourage this sense of building a community. We often will put together a Facebook group, but we'll often get together outside of the training. And you really can make lifelong friends from very diverse backgrounds with um, uh, a lot of different personal histories. And it's a really wonderful chance to meet people that you would never probably run into otherwise. And then you share this love of learning and this new language for looking at the world that's so empowering and um, so useful. So I really encourage you to check it out. Just cruise on over to nlpca.com, click on practitioner certification training, read up more about that. And of course, if you have any questions, just reach out and ask. And uh, I hope to see you there.